Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is about fixing the issue while playing the game GTA 5. You got the error. You were kicked from the session by Battle Eye. Please restart GTA 5. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, go ahead and open your Windows security. You need to add the GTA Battle 5 folder into the security list. Now click on the option virus and threat protection and under virus and threat protection settings, click on the option minus settings. Scroll down and click on the option add or remove exclusion. Now here you need to add the GTA 5 folder like as I have already added. To do so, click on the option add an exclusion and choose option folder. Now you need to browse the path of the GTA 5. At my end, it is in games, here is the GTA 5 folder which I have already added. So at your end, make sure you completely add GTA 5 folder as well as add the Rockstar Games Launcher folder also if you have installed the game using the Rockstar Games which is available in C drive, program files and Rockstar Games. Select it and hit select folder. Once you edit the folder, close it. Now go ahead and try to launch the game. If this failed to work, again open up Windows security and to make sure that it is not causing any kind of issue, open many settings again and turn off real time protection and then relaunch the game to fix out the issue. One more thing friends, if you have installed any third party antivirus such as Avast, AVG, Norton, make sure you completely uninstall them from your PC to play the GTA 5 into a system. If this failed to work out, in next step, I recommend to use a VPN. To use a VPN, I recommend either use Proton VPN which is completely free and either use Warp VPN. Both VPNs are free to use and I recommend to use Cloudflare VPN and click on this link windows build to download the cloudflare vpn into your system download it save it into your pc and wait for it to finish in downloading the warp vpn into your system once downloaded click on it to launch it and install the vpn into your system Once installed, click on this up arrow icon and it will automatically start. Proceed with the on-screen instructions and go ahead and toggle on this particular option to connect it using the VPN. Once it is connected, the status will be shown. Now go ahead and try to launch the game. Nextly is, if you have installed the game onto the SDD, I recommend to install the game onto the SSD. And secondly, you need to open the game directory. After opening the game directory, you need to right click on Battle Eye folder and choose option delete. Once it is deleted, launch Steam, Epic Launcher or Rockstar Launcher, whichever client you are using to play the game GTA 5. After opening the Steam, hit library option, right click on your game and choose option properties. In the left pane, click on the option installed files and choose the option verify integrity of the game files so that this will re-download the battle eye launcher into your system. Once downloaded, relaunch the game to fix out the issue of you were kicked from the session by battle eye. If this also failed, in next step, first of all, let me make you one thing very clear that generally the issue of the battle eye is from the server end. So I recommend to go ahead and play only the invite only sessions. If you join an invite only session, you will be able to play the game because the issue is from the server side and in the meantime, until they fix out the issue, you will be able to play the game using the invite only sessions. Now if this also failed, in next step, first of all, Whichever launcher you are using, again if it is Steam, Epic Launcher or Rockstar Launcher, go ahead, close it. Even from System Play icon also, right click and choose the option Exit. Once you completely exit, click on Start menu, type Steam or your launcher and you need to launch your launcher as an administrator. Launch Steam as an administrator. If you are using Epic Games, choose the option Run as Administrator. And again, if you are using Rockstar Games, you need to choose the option Run as Administrator then only launch the game to fix out the issue of you were kicked from the session by battle eye and one more thing if you have installed any kind of overlays into a system such as msi afterburner or riva tuner go ahead uninstall both the programs and in steam click on the steam icon and choose option settings in the left pane click on the option in game and turn off this particular option enable the steam overlays while in game after disabling the overlays running game client in administrator mode relaunch the game to fix out the issue of you were kicked from the session by battle eye. Now if all the methods fail to work out, the last hope you have is to do a clean installation of the game. 
To do so, open up your browser and download a free software which is Revo Uninstaller. Click on the option free downloads. Now scroll down and download this portable version so that you do not need to install this software into your PC. Save it into your system. Once downloaded, open the zip folder and unzip the folder inside the zip folder. Now open the folder, right click on Revo U port and choose the option run as administrator. Now in the interface, all the installed games will be shown right in front of you. You need to find Rockstar Launcher as well as BattleEye one by one. Select and choose the option uninstall. Click on the option continue. Once the program is installed, it will ask you to choose a scan mode for the registries. Select moderate and hit the scan option to scan for the remaining registries into a system. Now select all and choose the option delete. Same way you need to uninstall Rockstar Games Launcher as well as BattleEye using this Revo installer. Once you have completely uninstalled, restart your PC and then relaunch the game and this will completely fix out the issue. However, if none of the methods help you resolve this issue, I have already clear that the issue is from the server end and once it is resolved, you will be able to play the game. In the meantime, these are the only fixes that help you play the game. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.